Hello, it's Sami Chan. I'm right there. I'm so awesome in my brother's or in my tie. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna teach you guys how to use Paint.net. Hold on. Shut up, Ashley. Okay, this is for my friend Sadayuki chan. No. Anyway, so, first of all, this is the layers box right here. And I don't know why everything's pink, but it's really pissing me off. But anyway, what? My mom says it all the time. Okay, so the layers box, and of course you have the background, but... You never, like, when you start drawing, you never want it to be in the background. Because when you take the eraser to erase something, then it will erase the background, too, and make that little transparent thing. So, you always want to make a new layer, and then when you erase, nothing happens. Like, see? As opposed to doing that, which doesn't even erase the black. So then, there's also... That where you can merge the layers together, so it does that thingy again. And then there's that where you can move it below that, and that helps with effects and stuff. And then the add new layer, the delete the layer, duplicate layer, and the merge, then the down, and there's also the up. And then the properties, which you can also get to this by double clicking on the layer. Then you can make it visible or unvisible, which you can also do that by clicking that little check mark right there, if you can follow the mouse. And then the layer properties, you can rename the layer and make it like multiply or addictive or na 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 na, and all these cool color effects. And the opacity and all that. And then this is the colors box, where obviously is the colors. Like, usually this will be the regular palette, but... You can always mix all of it white like that. Then, like, I have different colors, like, for my different characters and stuff. And what you do is you would take the blank palette and if the color that you're using, like, say you have hot pink and you want to save that, or, like, you don't think you could ever get this color again, you just press this little button right here, and then just press that and click where you want it to be. Then, there's this tool, which is the rectangle, and you can also press S to get that. But you can do that, then edit and copy, paste in a new image, and it does that. But it's transparent because it was on the second layer. And, oh, wow. And that, and then... Yeah, up here will be, like, the two different ones, so you can switch back and forth. You can work on more than one project at a time. And then this is moving the layer. Well, you really can't see. Like, Yeah, there. Moving the layer. Shut up, Ashley. And then this is the lasso, which you can just, like, yeah. And then that is the move selection so you can do that and the eclipse make a circle and the zoom which you can also do this by pressing the CTRL and then the negative or yeah the control and the uh, addy sign and the magic wand which is really really useful usually you can have your tolerance on 50 that's really good and you can just like select all that and then pan with I really don't know what that's used for. And then of course there's the fill. You can fill oh my god that burns. And then the graduate which is fav which is my favorite like this first one the linear you can do that or that or that or whatever the heck you want to do. Then this one would be the linear reflected. Do that. You know, Pierre, what do you get? He got stuck. Oh, that he got stuck behind me. Good. And the diamond, do that. Then there's the circle. And 
and the conceal. And you can't do more than one at a time because it will like, well you can, just not on the same layer because it will ruin it. And then what's that? Okay. Then there's the... <laughs> Oh, I thought you were talking about something else there for a minute. Reproduction. Then there's that where you can like doodle really easier with the tablet. Me. And then you can like change the brush size up here. It goes from 1 to 500. 500 being that big. And then 1 being that big. Right there. Here. Pierre, what are you in? He got behind there again, didn't he? <laughs> then the eraser, which I already went through that. And then the pencil, which like sucks. Because it's like so tiny, but it's good when you're doing pixel art. And then the eyedropper, which you can just select the color and it goes to that. Then the clone stamp, which I never really use, so I really don't know what it does. Then the recolor, which I really don't know what that does either because I never use it. Sorry! And then the text, of course, typing. <laughs> Foot hag. And then you can also change the font up here. Like, you can also download some fonts. I downloaded Ninja Naruto and Dead Secretary because that is awesome. And then this is a straight line slash curve line because you see these little squares? Yeah, you click those and you can curve the line. That's usually how we do editing. And the rectangle, like that. And the oval, the circle, and the polygonal. So. Yes, which is kind of like the lasso, only it makes an outline instead. And then you always have your effects, your artistic ink, ink sketch. Well, hold on. You have to have something here. Like, your artistic, you go to ink sketch. You can, like, play around with this. Really fun. Then you have your oil painting, which I love using this. And then your pencil sketch, which is pretty cool. And then you always have your blurs, your fragment. Makes it all, like, blurry. Then the Gaussian blur is mostly used to help with your editing, blending it into the background. Like that. Only probably not as much. It also is used for glowing eyes. Pierre, get off that. Sorry, you got on my scanner printer phone thingy. Then the motion blur, which is good for use, like good for rain and stuff. Oops, I just broke then the ratio, it's cool. And then there's all these different blurs. And then probably the one I use the most would be the clouds. See, this is how I make rain. You go to clouds and you go to noise and add noise. No color. Then you go back to effects and do the motion blur. And there's your rain. Then you can go to photo and make it glow. I like using that too. And then this, you can like relief and all this. And then also in render, there's this. But you really can't change the color, it's always red. And this one, you can't change the color either, it's always blue. But it's really cool. So, um, if you guys have any questions or want to request any tutorials, just, like, comment on this video, I guess. And, um, see you guys later, I guess. Just don't, like, stalk me, because that's my job. Bye.